Hey guys, it's Rav from the Rav 07 Tech channel and today we have a review of the Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin Mini. Now I'm sure that you all remember the Zeppelin which is a very iconic iPod speaker system that is renowned for its eye catching design and top quality sound. Well now, Bowers and Wilkins have released the appropriately named Zeppelin Mini, which is essentially the little brother to the original Zeppelin. So when I first took this out of the box, I was immediately intrigued by the simplistic yet sophisticated design. I was also surprised by how compact the speaker system was, especially when compared to the original Zeppelin. The product is only 32cm in length, 20cm in height, and 10 centimeters in depth, so it's both practical and portable. On top, we have this wonderful chrome ball, which is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing aspects of the product. I also like the little features such as the Bowers and Wilkins logo on the base plate, which really make the Zeppelin Mini special. The speakers have been covered by this black cloth, which covers the entire speaker system and it provides a nice contrast to the chrome. At the bottom we have a thin strip of chrome which also covers the entire edge of the Zeppelin Mini and this is a very nice finishing touch. So in regards to ports and functions we have an on off switch on the right as well as the volume up and down. At the back we have the power input, an auxiliary input which actually means that you can use the speaker with devices other than the iPod and iPhone and finally we have a USB input which allows you to connect the Zeppelin Mini to a computer so your iPod or iPhone can be synced or charged. Another cool thing is that the USB input also acts as an audio connection which allows you to use the speaker system as an external speaker for your computer. And finally in the center we have the base plate where you will connect your iPhone or iPod. With the Zeppelin Mini you will receive four of these dock adapters which will keep your device safely in place. So here we have one for the iPhone 3G 3GS, the original iPhone, the first generation of the iPod Touch and finally there's one for the iPod Touch second and third generations. Unfortunately they do not include adapters for other iPods such as the iPod Classic or iPod Nano but they should still fit in the dock connector without too much difficulty. So when you want to place your device onto the Zeppelin Mini, you will need to get the relevant dock adapter, in my case it's the iPod Touch 2nd generation one, and simply slide it onto this piece here. You will then need to slide your iPod into the adapter until it attaches to the dock connector. and you will notice that it will immediately notice the iPod and it will begin to charge the device. You will also notice that we have a little blue LED here and this basically indicates that a device is connected and when it's ready to play a song it will begin to flash blue. Most other iPod or iPhone speaker systems do not allow you to have physical functionality of your device but the innovative design of the Zeppelin Mini allows you to physically grab hold of your device. Another awesome feature of the Zeppelin is the rotating arm. All you have to do is slowly begin to rotate the device 90 degrees and the Zeppelin Mini will finish off the movement. The rotating arm will allow you to view your device in landscape to watch movies or even browse music through cover flow. To control the speaker system we have this very compact remote control. The remote matches the design of the Zeppelin Mini with this high gloss plastic on the front and this very shiny chrome on the back. The remote provides basic actions such as volume up, volume down, play pause, previous and next. But I think that it would have been nice to see some added functionality such as shuffle and mute buttons which have been seen on cheaper speaker systems. So now onto the topic that you've all been waiting for, sound quality. The dual 18 watt speakers provide exceptional sound and in some cases the Zeppelin Mini allows you to hear sounds like you've never heard them before. The flow port on the back of the unit controls the airflow to provide a very atmospheric bass. 
Also, the Zeppelin Mini implements digital signal processing, which basically means that no matter how loud a song is playing, the sound quality will remain the same. As you may know, all of the songs on your iPod are made up of digital information. For music to sound as best as possible, you need to preserve that information. With most iPod speakers, the music is taken in an analog format, but with the Zeppelin Mini, you have a USB digital connection, which keeps the purity of the digital signal and your music intact. So I'm now going to play a song through the speaker system, and although the camera audio won't do the Zeppelin Mini justice, it will hopefully give you a better insight into the sound quality. But thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city faded off the ground. Nino, she insists she got more class. We know, swimming in the money, come and find me. Nemo, if I was at the club, you know I ball. Chemo, drop the mix, take that shit. So now onto my conclusion. The Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin Mini is definitely one of the sexiest and best sounding iPod speaker systems around. With a price tag of £299 in the UK or $399 in the US, the obvious drawback is the price. But if you've got the cash and are looking for an iPod speaker system with elegant design and excellent sound quality, then the Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin Mini is definitely an ideal choice. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin Mini iPod and iPhone speaker system. Please stay tuned to the channel for more technology reviews.